Welcome in Bobcat fans. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm here with the male athlete of the week, Justin Bailey of the men's basketball team. Couple questions for you. How you doing today? I can't complain. A little tired from class, but I'm, I'll make it through. Absolutely. Get some lunch right after this. Um, obviously, the last two games, you didn't get the results you wanted, but it seems you've turned a new leaf offensively, scoring 15 against Concord and then 16 against Glenville State on the road. What would you attribute that success to? Um, I, I would say um, I just felt a lot more confident going into these games. I know um, it's a tough stretch for us as we're trying to fight and get that last playoff spot. So I just wanted to go out there, and my, my teammates had faith in me, so I just, you know, just let it all loose and just try to go get a win as best as I could. Absolutely. And this team seems to be connecting just a little bit more than they have earlier on in the season. And down the stretch, they have connected. And what needs to happen to turn that connection into wins? So before the break, I feel like we were on a, a, a high streak. You know, we won about three games straight. And I feel like it just was camaraderie and moving the ball. I think we just need to, you know, we have a lot of talent on the team, but I think we just need to figure out a way to get back to that camaraderie and just that ball movement. I think that was – and. We need to defend better as well, I think. A little bit of selfless basketball. Right. Absolutely. One more question for you. What would you say is the most important factor to winning your next game on the road Wednesday against Alderson Broadus? I think we need to defend. I think, um, you know, you saw last game was really close and on the buzzer beater, but I feel like if we could just defend but keep the, the offense the same as it's been, I think that would get us to win. Also rebounding. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Justin, for tuning in today. Thank you, Bobcat fans. Up next, we have track and field coach John Curran. He's going to talk a little bit about shot put. Welcome in, Bobcat fans. Here with our coach of the week for throws for the track and field team. John Kearns, how are you doing today? John? Doing great, man. Doing great. Absolutely. First off, I just wanted to ask you, what's it like to coach Jerome Romano, and does it have a different meaning for you as you were the school's record holder in weight throw, the first MEC champion for the school in that, and also MEC champion in weight throw and hammer, and you hold the meet record for both? So it's definitely something that is very special for me, being able to compete for the university for about five years um, and being able to attain all these different accolades and everything and helping my past teammates and hopefully future athletes that come in um, to have those experiences that I've gotten. So it's definitely a special experience for me. Absolutely. And uh, what can you say that you've learned as an individual from your athletes and the members of this team to make you a better coach? Whew, good question. <laughs> um, you know, I, I think that I have been learning a lot about myself um, and how to individualize different practices and how to communicate with various athletes with different perspectives and attitudes and um, walks of life, everything like that. Speaking of one of your athletes, Alexa Bradburn, got first in the MEC in weight throw recently and is our female athlete of the week here at Frostburg. What can you say about Alexa as an athlete and a student that's led to her success? So I think she's a very determined athlete and she has made some huge steps since she's gotten onto the campus and being um, a part of the track and field team. Um, recently, like you said, she's hit a big PR and she's been um, really, really motivated and determined to uh, inching closer and closer to that school record and being the top of the conference and the best athlete that she can possibly be. And it's definitely something that we have tried to work on throughout this entire year so far and she has done an amazing job. She's worked really hard to get where she is and she deserves every bit of credit that she's, that she's gotten. And as well as being a nursing student, she has a lot of um, responsibilities outside of the school, um, clinicals, classes, everything like that. She's even taking it upon herself to drive herself to meets and everything um, when she can't come on the bus with us or something. Uh, so she's been very determined. And if I had to sum up her as an athlete and a student, it's all determination. Absolutely, that's a great answer. What would you look forward to as a coach with the MEC championships looming, obviously in the near future? What do you look forward to? I look forward to all the PRs that we're going to hit. I, I think that everybody on our throws team is looking to hit a big PR, as they always are at every meet. But I think that they're in a good position right now to hit those marks. And I think Alexa, uh, specifically, she's not, she hasn't hit the cap yet. She has, she has a lot of room for improvement, and we're working on those things, but I think that she has the possibility of getting a school record here this year. 
Absolutely, I can't wait to see it. Up next, we have Female Athlete of the Week, Alexa Bradburn, going to come on and talk to us for just a little bit. Once again, thank you, John, for coming on. Welcome back, Bobcat fans. I'm here with our Female Athlete of the Week here at FSU, Throws Specialist Alexa Bradburn. First off, congratulations on being named the MEC Track and Field and the FSU Female Athlete of the Week and on your PR and weight throw. Thank you. Absolutely. What was that moment like when you learned you got your PR and your first currently right now in the MEC and weight throw? Um, it was very exciting. I have been struggling a couple weeks with practicing, so to go out there and throw that big throw, it was definitely really exciting. And then Coach John was there, and it was just it was a really good moment. Absolutely. And if you had to look back at this year and the build-up to the spring season as a whole, what would you say is the most important thing you've learned in that process? Trusting in the process. Throwing is one of those things that you don't just – pick up in one day or one practice. So definitely trusting in the process is what I would, yeah, that's what I would say. Absolutely. And then in talking with Coach John before, he seemed to sum up your story and the progress with one word, determination. And what would you say about that word and what it means to you as an athlete? It definitely, yeah, like I said, throwing is one of those things that it takes, more, it takes many, many years to, get down good. I've heard it from a lot of people from the track and field office about you know you trying to balance the busy schedule of track and field with nursing school and driving yourself to meets if you need be just going up above and beyond what is it like trying to balance those two parts of being a student athlete with such conflicting schedules? It's hard but I I love track it's like my main thing I love nursing school too obviously but um, I love you know, I love both of those things. I have no problem driving myself to meets because I know, you know, that's what it takes right now with my schedule. And I try not to let it interfere with things, but sometimes that does happen. But, you know, I make it work. So I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Absolutely. Just one more question for you. Looking forward, the MEC championships are right around the corner. What is one of your goals going into that? Just to go in with a positive attitude and, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's just whatever happens in that meet. So I'm really excited to see everybody's performance, not just my own, you know, our other athletes. I'm, yeah, I'm just really excited, but keeping a positive attitude is definitely going to be my biggest challenge. Absolutely. Once again, congratulations thank and thank you. you. Thank you for tuning in to this week's FSU Awards. Make sure to stay tuned for next week's awards and winners.